Well, this morning I pulled out this uh, wizard. I've had it for a little while. Uh, I've been uh, actually, I took off the side rails and uh, they spent a few days in some evapo rust, got them cleaned up. I took the, the uh, legs off, uh, painted them. I'm getting ready to start in the guts of this thing. It's kind of a mess inside of here, really. Uh, haven't really done anything to it yet, just kind of been looking around. Uh, yeah, there's there's lots of little things I've seen, and I'll show you a few of them, just kind of give you an idea of what I'm get into when I start these things. Here's an example of a modified fuse holder. It kind of falls in the category as if it works, is it really a bad idea? But we're going to cut it out. We're going to, we'll just replace all four of those so new fuse holders. I'm guessing these are probably not the right size. Just from experience, they're usually not. Uh, I saw that. Uh, here's a little bare-ended wire. I don't know what that goes to. That could be factory. It might not be. Here's a bunch of them that are bound up together. Those probably are factory right there. Uh you know some of the manufacturers they use these same harnesses for multiple games and so they didn't end up using all the wires so they would just dead end them and it's possible that's supposed to be bound up there not sure i do have another wizard in the back so i can go look uh here's another bare ended wire now that one's not factory because that one's it's got exposed metal on the end of it it's the exact wire is the exact same color as that wire so i'm guessing that's probably supposed to be terminated at that same point there and it's not uh, but I'm going to go look at the other game and find out. I can look, dig it up on the schematics probably, but finding stuff like that is very hard to actually find because you can't really figure out what color that is. I mean, it kind of looks like white and green, but it's probably not white and green. It's probably something else. I mean, the colors get so faded on these things, it's really hard to discern what the colors are. Uh, a couple other things I saw. You know, it's always good to just walk through these things and look at them because, uh, oh, this one here, this coin. So this one's got grommets holding, uh, supporting it, but it's leaning down to where the end, this, this plastic part here is actually touching the wood beneath it. So that's never going to really work right until the screws are tightened up. So it's sitting up again. So that'll have to be addressed and these are the kind of things like you know if you're playing starting to play a game and it's not working okay diagnose figure what why is this and it'd be like a weird intermittent problem sometimes it might work but not right it wouldn't be it'd be very hard to track it down but just using your eyeballs fix it on the front end okay so both these units have problems this one here is the ball unit so if i well, let me, so that would, it starts on ball one. There's ball two, three, four, five, and game over. But this one, this coil here is supposed to release it back to ball one. And you see it's, you know, it's trying to go back, but it's just dirty and sticky. It's not the way it ought to be. So this just have to be cleaned up and also clean all these rivets so it makes good con all these little spider points make good contact with those rivets this one's got the same issue you know this so this one is the uh player unit get it back so that'd be player one two three four and then this one gets it back to player one except it didn't it went back to player three two one so again it's just dirty one more thing i saw on this unit was this little switch right there it's hard to see that switch right there that leaf is on the wrong side of the post so that thing is supposed to basically open up once you get to player four so that you can't start another game because if you start another game at player four you're eating your quarter and it's not doing anything for you so I'm going to fix that right now there. Probably going to have to adjust it a little bit more after I've bent it a little bit. Let's see if I can get it back. So there, that's on player four. See, and it's opened that, that switch. So at that point, you can't start another game because you're player four. Now if I 
release it back, it goes back and that switch closes. So you, that switch opens, when it opens, you can't start another game. So there's player one, oops, if I can get the coil here, two, three, four, and it's open. You can't start another game. So that's, that's working now. Uh, it's still a little sticky, but still needs to uh, be cleaned up. Uh, the other thing, all these little, I've showed you this before. Let me find one that's uh, a little easier to see. Here's one. So those contacts, if it's open, it's got to close, and it's closed, it's got to open. This thing's pretty filthy. Probably, so I'll probably run a file down the face of this also, just kind of clean off some of that. Uh, yeah, I had dirt daubers, uh, Jones plugs. They're not horrible filthy, but they're, they're kind of dirty. Uh, clean those up. So... Do all that before uh, even start messing with the head. Well, I got good access to everything. Clean all these switches and the motors in the stack. And uh, oh, this little piece of paper here. Somebody stuck that in there. I'm gonna leave it because that's a clue. Because it's been there a while. That uh, it's basically smashed a hole through it. Sometimes people put paper like that if the coil is buzzing. Uh, a buzzing coil is not really. An indication of much other than there's something loose on that coil that's vibrating. Uh, it's in. It doesn't take much to stop it from vibrating. Just change the the basically the harmonic frequency of the of the coil. So anyway, any any little thing can stop it from buzzing almost. Uh, and that's what somebody's. That's probably what somebody's trying to do right there. Uh, anyway, so I'll leave that there to be a reminder. If I hear some coil buzzing, I'll know that which one it is and uh, try to address it. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Adios. One more little addendum to this video. So you remember I was wondering what this wire was for, and I was pretty sure this bundle was stock, and then there was also this wire that was just hanging up here also. So I grabbed my other wizard, and I've just got to sit in here and start the same thing. So here's that same wire right here. That's the same wire, also just loose there. Uh, so that's stock. Uh, here's this other wire that's loose there. It's the same exact wires on the other machine. So those are both factory. This one does not have the bundle of three or four wires coming out right where my it would be playing out right there. That was folded over, but it was. It's got the same tape as all these and this, these are factory tape it looks like electrical tape almost but it was looks like what they did when they bundled like all these wires and they strung them up they first put tape on them before they uh used the uh, whipping twine so those those little things are not uh some kind of hack that's those are electrical tape that was or something close to electrical tape from uh the factory so all three of those were stock so i'm gonna on this other machine where Somebody has actually stripped this one, or maybe it was stripped from the factory like that. I'm going to uh, cut that off so the so that it's not, if I can get it to focus, probably not. There we go. So they don't have the exposed wire there. Get rid of that. But uh, anyway, sometimes when you see these games, you see a bare or a wire loose. Uh, you can't automatically assume that it's a problem. It could just be... You know, they had extra wires in the loom that they didn't use on every game. So it's kind of like modern cars. They do the same thing sometimes.